All right, guys, I'm back with another video here. And I know I've covered the subject of oil catch cans before. This will actually be my third video on them. And the reason why I am making this video is because I live in a cold area. Uh, I live up north in Illinois. So when it gets really cold outside and you go out and start your car, what happens when your engine is 15 below zero, 20 below zero? Well, when it starts up, it creates heat and you have a cold motor. And when that happens, you create condensation inside of your motor. And that pumps up with the oil and it pressures up and it goes through your PCV valve. And then it goes straight into your intake. And again, that's where I've talked about before. That's why we have oil catch cans. So it catches any oil coming out of the top of the motor through your PCV valve into your intake. And I'm going to show you the importance of why you want to have one of these, especially in the wintertime, because you don't want that moisture being sucked up into your intake. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. All right, so I've already taken my oil to catch can off the bracket on where it normally sits at. And I'm going to untwist it here. Now this has a drain valve on the bottom. And that's pretty handy because I don't have to usually take this apart to take the oil out. But I'm only doing this to show you guys, which is why I took it off. This is what I'm talking about, guys. See that gooey mess right there? That's what gets up on the top of your valve covers. And that's what cakes on. So... This is all the water that's accumulated from moisture condensation buildup from it being cold outside and the engine trying to warm itself. Now it doesn't matter. You can start your engine and let it get to operating temperature and drive it. But that doesn't mean this isn't happening. So even if you get in your car on a cold morning, start it up and immediately start driving, which I don't recommend, this is still happening either way. And this is another reason why it is important to have an oil catch can. Oil catch cans can really help save your engine in a lot of different ways. All right, so I cleaned this guy out, okay? There's still a little bit of goo down at the bottom. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back on the car, reattach everything, and I'm going to drive it for one day. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after just one day of driving and cold temperatures with the whole condensation buildup. All right, everyone. So I started my car up this morning. It was 30 degrees outside. I let it get to operating temperature, and then I left and went to work, which is 35 miles away. Then when I left work, I started my vehicle, and I let it warm up to operating temperature before I left, and it was 35 degrees outside at this point, and I drove straight home, another 35 miles. So I drove 70 miles today, round trip. I'm going to show you what the oil catch can looks like after I cleaned it out last night and then driving it today. Alright, and this is what it looks like now. Let me get the light on it so you guys can see it a little bit better. Alright guys, this is what I was talking about. You see how milky that is? It almost looks like coffee. That is the water mixed with the oil. And that's, again, what I'm saying here is this is why it is important to have an oil catch can to catch contaminants like this from going into your engine and potentially causing harm and rough idles, uh, bad fuel mileage, and a lot of other things. And this can all be stopped just by using an oil catch can. So I don't need to clean this out every day. Um, honestly, about once a week in the winter time, just pop these off, drain them out. You can wipe them if you want to, it's not necessary. But I did it for the purpose of the video last night to show you guys. So I'm just gonna dump this out, throw it back on, and here in about another week, I will clean it out. Alright guys, I hope this video was informational. 
and I hope it helped you out. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new here. Please comment down below with any comments you might have or any suggestions for new videos you want to see. See you later.